Alright, it's Chris from Fox once again, and this is a request the same for Alice. And the image of this video is Top 10 Scariest Band Horror Movies. Let's see if I recognize any of them, so let's check it out. Stop! Stop! Welcome to the Today, we're counting down the top 10 scariest band horror movies. Yo, that was banned, I didn't know that. Yeah, the actress was banned for a while too. This one, yeah, Human Centipede Part 2. Scream? That Scream couldn't have been a banned movie. It's not that bloody. Yeah, this movie was fucked up. I've seen it like one time and I stopped. The part where he has like the two by four and he smashes it on his dick. That. That. I stopped the movie after that. Never finished it. And for good reason, because Harry gets you more fucked up after that. Not the biggest fan of movies like this. The RT movies. Deeming its 16 plus rating too low. Au revoir, a Catholic traditionalist group, had pressured the courts in hopes of having the film reclassified with a more restrictive rating. And I am just too cool. Very strange. Mm -hmm. Very strange movie. Really it's perhaps hideous. As of yet, there's no indication of Antichrist being re-rated and unbanned in the country. Nothing hurts more than to see the one that you love subjected to mistakes and wrongs. Number nine, The Human Centipede yeah, 2. The UK, Australia... The price is going ain't, ain't, ain't higher on the list. A human centipede is, we're not going yeah, to... Yeah, that guy was creepy, it's creepy as hell. Is this a perverted film you've been talking about? The second installment in this gross out trilogy is about a I mean, I actually didn't care the for the third one, but the first and second one were interesting at least for what they were. They were disgusting the though, I'll give them that. They were fucking the cringy and disgusting, disgusting but they were weren't too bad. Dad doesn't have to find out. Contact can get it tomorrow when we have the key. A similar situation happened with the Australian classification review board which also later accepted a recut version. And in New Zealand, the film wasn't shown in theatres due to the controversy in Australia. There's obvious reasons why this movie is banned, obvious, obviously. Sometimes a few minutes of cuts can make all the difference. Number eight, I spit on your yep. grave. Multiple countries. This film yeah. about a woman I like the remake better of this. Um, the first one's good, but the second one, or the remake was better. Because you show less of the rape, more of the revenge, you know. That's why I liked it that better than this from the original. Sorry guys, my camera keeps falling. I actually don't own this movie because it's hard to find. Like I said, it's not one of my favorite movies anyways. Like I said, the remakes are better. In my opinion. The original title was Day of the Woman, which doesn't quite... My grandma liked it, though, for some reason. Is. I don't like women giving me orders. Number seven, Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah, I, did, I, I couldn't finish this one either. The scene with the turtle, I turned it off. After they killed that the turtle, I turned this shit off like there was no tomorrow. I hate shit like this. The Green Inferno is a better movie because there's no real dead animals in that damn movie. Like I said, there's obvious reasons why this movie was banned. It's unbelievable. It's horrible. 
This movie is horrible. I can't understand the reason for such cruelty. Some of these bans have been lifted, but Cannibal Holocaust remains one of the hardest movies to endure. It's, yeah, definitely one of the most brutal. Number six, The Last House on the Left. No, okay. I've never seen this. No, I've seen the no, I, no. I own the remake on DVD, but I can't. I never the finished this one. Raven was responsible for two of the most not because I didn't. Series of all time. Not because I didn't like it. It was just because I didn't really think it was that good of a movie. I love what's Craven, but this movie, the original one, this one left. I say it was. I say the remakes are better, but the I don't know. I need to watch it again. I need to go buy it and watch it again because I haven't seen it in like forever. I didn't finish it when I didn't see it, so I don't know. Can't get too much on this one because it's been a long time. The Last House on the Left, a horror take on Ingmar Bergman's The Virgin Spring, tells the harrowing story of parents seeking revenge on their daughter's killers. The results are brutal, and the film sparked plenty of controversy. In the UK, the British Board of Film Censors declined to give it a certification, resulting in its ban. In 2002, a modified version of the film earned an 18 certificate, while the uncensored version was released in 2008. We'll stick with Scream, folks. Yeah, I'll and stick five, with Scream 2. Hostel Part 2. I Hostel love the Hostel movies, especially the second one. Okay, contract. Anyone who comes to this place can leave. Okay. Okay. Some horror movies almost seem like they're trying to convince you to avoid travel at all costs. Oh, yeah. The first hostel is a gruesome depiction of American The first one's good, the second one's overseas. great, and then the third one's the okay. Went even further in terms I of thought. Depravity. As a result, many countries have been hostile towards Hostel Part 2. She'll go straight to the police. Yeah, exactly. Someone should. No, no one should. Eli Roth's sequel has been banned slash censored in multiple countries. Eli Roth is an underrated director. Cabin Fever was good too. In American multiplexes. Green Inferno, I liked. Four years later, Hostel Part 3 was released straight to video and attracted far less negative attention. Number four, Sun, or the 120 Days of Sodom. Yeah, I've never seen this movie before, never. It looks boring, if you ask me, in my opinion. Who's responsible for the term this is seeming like my kind of movie, to be honest with y'all. This doesn't seem like a movie I like. Italy. You poor idiot. You must be stupid to think that death would be so easy. Don't you know that we intend to kill you a thousand times over until the end of eternity? If there could be an end to eternity. Just hearing about the acts depicted on screen is enough to turn your stomach. This explains why the film has been banned. I mean, it's so gross and disturbing. It looks like a normal movie. The United Kingdom. These bans have been lifted, but not until decades later. While many have praised Salo as a work of legit cinema, others find it more obscene than artistic. The bourgeoisie does not the the victims will be their loving sons and daughters. Number three, a Serbian film. Oh, yeah. Another, yeah, another movie I didn't, I never finished because I thought that, that was too stupid. To be honest, it was too stupid. I still was tired of seeing the main guy's dick every every fucking scene he's in. So, another movie I never finished. I probably never will. Like I said, not a movie that that, that, that piques my interest. I think I didn't think it was disturbing at all. I thought it was just fucking stupid. Well, it was disturbing, but it was just stupid. I didn't. We're all for watching films from different cultures, but if you're looking for a good, clean Serbian film to watch, we recommend choosing something besides a Serbian film. Yeah. It was just a brutal, stupid, no holds bar movie, which I didn't like. Number two, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That was banned too? 
Where was that band? It's not that gory of a movie. Good friends of that came after it. It's a classic though. I love this pro this uh, movie. But it's still an incredibly effective thriller and caused quite a stir when it was first released. It was a scary movie, especially for back in the day. The remake I like too of this. And the, I even like the new um, Tiger Chainsaw movie. That thought it was very well done, in my opinion. Can't wait to play the new game either. I want to buy the new game, but I can't find it on Steam. It might not be the glorious movie on this list, but it's definitely one of the scariest. Before we continue, yeah, scary. be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified oh, yeah. for occasional videos or all yeah. of them. Switch on notifications. I respect the hustle. I respect the hustle. Watch Mojo. Number one, The Exorcist. Malaysia. Mm, yeah. Of course this movie is banned. <laughs> Back in the day. It's a classic though. It's a classic the horror film. I want the animatronic of Reagan, but I can never afford it. Or it's just too, too expensive. No, it's not that bad. Especially when we look at other movies now, a days. Oh, come on. It's not that gory of a movie, guys. I think a Serbian film... It's probably the worst movie on this one. It's that Antichrist. A lot of these movies I could not finish because I thought they were too disgusting or too stupid. Let's go back here. I love The Exorcist. I love The Exorcist. Check this Chainsaw Massacre. Um, Serbian film is retarded. Solo, never gonna see it. It doesn't seem like my type of movie. Unless it's a request. I love The Hostel too. Still do. Last House on the Left, the original I didn't like so much, but the remake was better. Um, Campbell Holocaust, fuck that movie. I Swing Your Grave, the remake's better, if you ask me. Um, Human Sent Me 2, I liked it. It was very weird. Um, Antichrist, I couldn't finish, because it, it, it was too... It was too, um, disgusting, I guess. I don't know. Let me, guys, let me know if you've seen any of these movies. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you all in the next video. This might be the last video. It might be next. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace out, y'all.